My name is Marisol Velez, but my rap name is Pinky Ring, and I am an MC and an educator. In 2004, I was in a car accident um, that left me in a coma. That was the moment that my life changed. Before that, um, I was not living my life in any kind of uh, honorable or respectful way. Waking up in Cook County Hospital and seeing a reflection of myself with broken teeth and a scar on my forehead, broken nose, made me realize that that could have been the end of my story. And that's not how I wanted to go out. That's not how I wanted to leave the world. So from that moment forward, I really rededicated myself to my art, my music, and to, to teaching and sharing that story because a lot of people don't make it past that point. <laughs> music to me represents everything beautiful and sacred in my life. It's the one place I can go to and be honestly and truly myself. And I think that that's truth for a lot of young people who write music and perform music or write poetry. But it's also my way to share my story, not for myself anymore. I remember I wanted to be a famous rapper and you couldn't tell me any different because I wanted to be rich and have nice things. And now I realize that I want to be a rapper and a musician because it's, it's a way for me to represent Chicago, to represent my Puerto Rican community, to represent women, to represent um, anyone that feels like they don't have a voice. Like if I can be that person to encourage other people to start telling their stories, like this world is gonna be a better place. I think of Marisol as a very close friend, almost like a mother to me. She has taught me to be myself, not to try to fit in with a crowd, just to be myself, write freely. Don't, don't follow the guidelines. Be that person who stands out in a crowd. Be different. I see Marisol as an entrepreneur. Um, I really look up to her because of her tenacity, um, knowing a lot of the struggles that she's overcome um, and looking at where she is right now in life and her persistent energy uh, just really kind of drives me. Th through her music, she's talked about sexual abuse, she's talked about anxiety and depression, and I knew that that was somebody who I can reach out to to, to speak about those topics. So, um, you know, having her in the classroom with me and having her be so raw and be so honest about those topics um, just really helped me in my artistic pursuit to be honest with myself and to mold myself and, and become the person who I want to become. I think the message that I want them to leave with is that they're good enough. We need more mentors. We need more uh, caring adults in these young people's lives. And that's the reason why I continue to make music. And it's not for me anymore. It's really for other people to see it and say, she did it and so can I. Crossing the border, fearing death 